Hello everyone, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to create this in After Effects. Let's start. Okay guys, welcome back. So first let's go to Rectangle tool. So for that you can press Q or just click to here. And let's make a rectangle like this. But make sure you have turned off the stroke. If you have turned on the stroke, you can just click to here and press here. And then click OK. Now first let's move this shape layer to the center. So for that let's use the align and let's click to here. And then hold control and double click to here to turn the point to the center. Now from here let's just select rectangle and let's open the settings. Let's go to transform and let's change the scale of it. And let's click to here to uncheck it. And let's change the scale like this. Okay and then go to add and let's add repeater. Let's close this transform and open the this repeater and let's change the copies let's make it 31 and select offset let's make it minus 16 or maybe minus 15 okay minus 15 is gonna be better and then let's close this repeater and select this rectangle and let's go to that again and click to wiggle transform and let's open this wiggle transform and from here let's open the transform and let's click to here and let's change the scale of it like this and let's change the correlation, let's make it 75 and random seed, let's make it 30 but as you can see it's not working so to fix that let's just close it and let's move it to here open it again, let's open the transform, let's see, ok and let's click to here to uncheck it and let's change the scale like this, however you want ok this is good, let's preview it Okay, nice, but it's kind of really fast, so to fix that, let's change the wiggle second, let's make it 1.4, let's see, okay, nice, also if you want to make it longer, just let's close this and go to repeater, let's change the copy size like this, and also you have to change the offset, for example, let's make it 41, and change this one to minus 20 so it's gonna be in the center okay nice and lastly let's close the here and go to fx presets and let's search for four color gradient and let's drag and drop it to our shape layer nice now let's change the colors i'm gonna use the light blue for this one and the second one, let's use the purple, like this, click OK, and change this one, let's use like this, and the last one, let's use red, like that. Now let's move these points to somewhere to here, to make it smoothly, let's see, cool, now let's change the points of this colors so for that let's make a keyframe for the points like this and let's go to here let's press U and let's copy the next keyframe for the points for example let's copy the point 2 and let's paste it for point 1 and let's do the same for point 2 let's select the point 3 keyframe and paste for point 2 and select point 4 keyframe now let's paste for point 3 and select point 1 keyframe now let's paste for point 4 let's see ok it's kind of long duration so for example let's go to 4 seconds and uh, let's move these keyframes to here and let's press N let's see it now so it will be more visible now nice and also let's go to fx presets and let's search for glow and let's add to this shape layer and let's change the glow intensity let's make it 0 0.7 and change the glow radius like this let's make it 25 and change this one as well let's make it 80 let's see now Okay, nice. 
So guys, thanks for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe channel and leave a comment in my video. See you in the next videos.